divinely. I'll do it myself. It's Crazy H, back in the heavenless, heavenly light, as you can see me out. Look how beautiful. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, it's been a while, everybody. How are you? Um, I am now taking the opportunity to do my 18th birthday extravaganza, all of the things that I got. Um, I got a lot of really cool stuff that I think you're going to enjoy and like. Um... I'm really excited to show everybody. It's been a while. It's been pretty hectic, so... Since I came back to school, so... Yeah, it's gonna be... It's gonna be cool. You know, it's... You, you gotta prepare yourself. All the good stuff, so... Let's get into it, folks. And I will see you... At the first item. Okay, so the first thing that I got, this isn't in any particular order, but with my Christmas money, this was kind of like my gift to me from me. These are replicas of Legolas's daggers from Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm a big replica person. I like getting things that, like, look like they came from the movie, you know. And I've gotten a whole bunch of replicas from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit over the last eight years, maybe. Um, and I found these, uh, like, about, I want to say a month, maybe? Like, throughout December, when I was looking online for stuff, I keep seeing, seeing Legolas's daggers pop up. All these really good deals. So, I found this one, and when I figured out that I had some money left, I, uh, decided to buy them. They are very nice. The, the detail is just amazing on them. Look at the, you know, you've got these sort of elvish inscriptions even down the blade like i don't like it's it's crazy it's one reason i love the lord of the rings movies so much is because of how much detail is in everything even the plaque is great and with it um came this really cool certificate grab it for a moment right here Literally just has the knives, like, sketches of the knives on it. There's a, on the back, it's got the poem for the One Ring, and then this is just kind of like the, talking about the knives themselves, and something I was thinking about the other day was Legolas doesn't really have a name for his knives. Like, I often wonder if Legolas was the kind of guy who gave the things he owned names, like his weapons names, like, I wonder what they would be. Um, so... Again, very cool. I'm so happy to have them now in my collection. Uh, United Cutlery does Cutlery does great work on the replicas for these movies. Um, but it's like, yeah, they, it can be a bit pricey, but once you get it, it's, it's incredibly worth it. I'm going to look forward to finding a place to hang them up eventually. And while we're on the topic of things I got that are Lord of the Rings related... I also got something really interesting right here in my pocket, much like Bilbo had his. A replica of the Arkenstone from the movies. This isn't an officially licensed replica or anything, it's just this um, guy who did it on eBay. And it's the only one I've ever seen that actually looks like the one in the movie. And I keep jokingly saying it looks like a bar of soap, like I want to wash my hands with it or something. And, uh old tank upstairs, he keeps saying that I had to put it in the bathroom and try to trick people into using it for a bar of soap. But it is a very nice, you know, little replica for something uh, that's unofficial. Like, I like that it actually looks like something from the movie. Uh, but, it's, I mean, it's the Arkenstein for crying out loud. It's like one of the most important things in the Hobbit trilogy, you know, and in the books. Um... 
it's like the whole center, central thing of the entire quest they're trying to get. You know, that Thorin's, you know, desperate to have. So I figured I have to get it at some point, and if I'm going to get it, I have to get one that will do it justice. So this, even though it's kind of simple and it doesn't come with a fancy box or whatever, it's really nice. So it's also a nice addition too. And then my final, um, what would you call it? You're going to see the floor for a moment. My final two things that I got for my Lord of the Rings. I managed to purchase, like, I'd gotten, for the Funko Pops for Lord of the Rings, I'd had Gandalf and Frodo for a while, and then I managed to pick up Wave 2 that had Merry Pippin, Aragorn, Lurts and Gollum, and Treebeard in it. We also have the Balrog upstairs. But then I just ended up getting the rest of Wave 3, or almost the rest of it. I've got Galadriel, Gimli, Legolas, and Boromir. And the only one I had been missing was Sam. So my dad, you know, the tank, he ordered me Sam. And now I'm happy to say that I have the entire Fellowship of the Ring in Funko Pop form. All nine members. And they look amazing. They knocked them out of the park. I mean, Pop does a lot of good work, you know. Um, as you can see back there, there's the Galadriel, who is my favorite character. Um, and then the previous ones I had, there's Gollum and Lurts and tree beard but like they did a very good job especially like like Boromir Legolas and Gimli look particularly good like just the detail that goes into them is amazing and I also like the Aragorn a lot um the hobbits are pretty good Sam is probably the best of them uh and then there's you know Mary and Pippin they got their signs and the pipe and then Frodo's over here in Gandalf. Actually, I tried to set it up, um, fans of the movie will know, this is the, um, the order they're in whenever they come over the sh mountain in that one shot where it's all heroic of them. Um, but I'm very happy to have completed these guys, at least the Fellowship for now. I still have a lot to get, like from Wave 3, I still gotta get the Witch King, the King of the Dead, Elrond, and, uh, well, they did the variant of Galadriel in her enchanted form. And then I also still have to get uh, a few from the first wave as well. Like Saruman, the Ringwraiths, um, Sauron. And then there's ones to the Hobbit too, but they're much harder to find. But for now, I'm just really happy that I've got the Fellowship completed. I'm, they're very good. And then if we move up from that... Um, go over here, I have this Galadriel that my dad got me. Again, I said Galadriel is my favorite character in Lord of the Rings. Here she is, everyone. Very good, you know, in the iconic scene where she, uh, is having Frodo look into the mirror. Um, this statue was done back in the days when they were making Lord of the Rings by Sideshow Weta. Um, and they're pretty good. I've got, like, three of them that are from that particular line right now. But, um... She's, she's my favorite character. As I was saying, I love Kate Blanchett as an actress, and she just does the part great justice with it. Um... But yeah, just very well done statue. There's one that they did for The Hobbit as well that's... If you think this is good, it's, like, ten times better. Like, but again, this, this is great to have right now, you know, just to have her represented. She's, yeah, it's like, the reason she's my favorite, apart from the fact that, you know, I love, you know, the character and, you know, the Kate Blanchett as the actress, is because, you know, everybody always says they love Sam or Gandalf or Aragorn, and I do too, but I just, I like to have, you know, I've got unpopular opinions, and... You know, people like her and King Theoden, I really like them, even though they might not be main players, but I still think they have important parts. So, those are my, uh, Lord of the Rings, um, purchases and gifts.
so they are very nice to have. Oops. Now we're to the big thing. The thing that is just something that I've had my eye on for a while that I really wanted. Um, I'd seen it kind of been flo floating around every, you know, so often, and I was like, do I really want to get this? Like, like I much would rather have, you know, for a Marvel thing, because I don't really have any Marvel replicas yet. I was like, I'd much rather have Captain America's shield, or Thor's hammer, or Iron Man's helmet, or something like that. Um, but I ended up getting it. My mom ended up getting it for me for my birthday. We found it at Walmart on clearance for 64 bucks, which is like, oh, you save at least $60 from the original price. Very good. But I'm just going to set it over here and give you folks a look at the majesty of this thing. Ready? You ready for this? Three, two, one, bam! The freaking Infinity Gauntlet, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this. You can just hit it. Isn't that awesome? No, for the longest time, I literally just wanted to make a fist with this thing. And when I did it for the first time, it felt so good. Like, and I, now I make a joke. I'm like, now I have control of the universe, you know? And I remember when uh, we had posted on there, as you can see, the fingers move. But when we had posted that we had gotten this on there, lots of people in the comments were all like, "Give it, do us all a favor and use it. It's like, yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. Uh, but it is amazing. Let me see if I can give you a little taste of it. And look at the size of it, too. Like, that is Thanos' hand. Like, like, this is, we're talking, like, this is the hand that Captain America had to freaking hold back. Here we go. There. That feels amazing. See, that's the thing. other thing you can do. I just put the fingers down like this. So you can uh, lock it into place to have it displayed how it is in the movie. And you can lock it and unlock it again. So very well done piece. Looks incredible. You know, I definitely would look forward to getting more from Marvel Legends later on. Like the of the replica pieces like this. You know, this, this blew me away. Um, let's see, lights just went off. So, yeah. Thank you, Mom. We are now on to our next portion of the, of the birthday collection extravaganza. And you may be wondering, why are we looking at the floor right now? Well, I'm going to tell you, because in a minute when I pan up, you're going to see some sick stuff. Like this, all of the Funko Lego C Collection Game of Thrones action figures. We had been working on collecting these for a while. For the longest time, the only ones we had were the Hound, Brienne of Tarth, there, and there's the Hound, and then uh, this Daenerys back here, and this Tyrion here, and then... I found out, I was like, well, they didn't make too many more of them, so let's start to try and get them. So then, by then, I had bought John and Jamie and uh, Rob and Arya, and we only had about five more that we needed. So, also part of my birthday um, shipments, we got in Ned and the White Walker this Tyrion exclusive here, Cal Drogo, this Daenerys in the front, and then, yeah, I think that's all of them we got in, just those five, um, but these things are amazing, my only issue with them is as detailed as they are, they're made very cheap plastic, they're very hard to pose and do anything too extravagant with, um, but again, what you can get out of them is, you know, pretty good. So, here, I'll 
use a better shot. You'll notice that everybody's kind of grouped together. If you're a fan of the show, you'll know why everybody's grouped together, together the way they are and the significance. I've got them mostly in pairs of three, apart from this Tyrion here in his battle Blackwater gear. Um, but, let's see, I've got Arya with, you know, her brother and the man she traveled with for the better part of two seasons, at least. And then I've got John with... Ned, because Ned's, you know, his father, and his father figure, and, uh, the White Walker there, because that's the things he's got to fight whenever he's over the wall. And I got this Tyrion, and he's placed with Jamie because Jamie's his brother, and Brienne mostly because Brienne and Jamie had their kind of close, um, journey together in the early seasons. And then I got Daenerys over here with her younger self and with Cal Drogo because you know they were the Drogo was her husband and kind of symbolizes how far she's come at this point in her journey. So all the you know the three leads are in the front and then Arya's kind of a second tier lead, I'd say. But I'm very happy to have finally finished this um collection of them. Again, they just look amazing. Like, most of them have dead resemblance. I'd say the worst one is probably Ned. Just doesn't look that much like Sean Bean, really. But, uh... Practically everyone else looks great. Look, look, look at Jamie! Like, that's a pretty good likeness to Coster Baldu right there. And then this Tyrion, like... Just great stuff. I, I really like the Jon figure as well. And, you know, Hound's just... One of my faves but yeah overall really glad to have finished this you know and thank you to the parents for everything so far next up we have the complete wave of aquaman figures from the movie the aquaman himself came from my mother for christmas and then i'm surprised to find a few days later that um dad had ordered the rest of them in the line, so we've, there's Prince Warm and Mara, and uh, Black Man is right there, he's hard to see. And they build the trench monsters, which I love that scene in the movie. The visuals are just out of the park. Um, and I'm really happy with the way all of them turned out. I, I, I kind of have the setup in this battle scene, again there's significance to it, you know. You gotta try to make it that way whenever you're a fan. Of the movie, and I certainly was that. Uh, but yeah, just look at the detail on these things. You know, the scale, scale armor, the creature stuff. I like a, a nice touch with the trench monster is that he can open and shut his jaw if you want him to. So I kind of have him looking like he's biting into her spear right there. And Manta's probably the best one of the line. All, he's got all kinds. Maybe I can finagle him out of there for the folks at home to see better. There you go. Look at that. Just splendid. I love it. Cool stuff. And then we're going to move over in a moment to the... This is sort of an accumulation of things. I've gotten them all different time periods, but, uh, they're something small that I have an appreciation of regardless. That's down here. Follow the floor. Do the mystery minis. Look at all these guys. I've gotten a few of these I just bought today, in fact. I bought this Thanos here today. I bought this Chewy right here today. And I bought this Harry back here. And then I bought a, well, there was a fourth Kira. I've got like four Kiras now. It's really annoying. And, um, but she's here in the front with all the solo ones that I've gotten so far. I actually, the first Kira I bought with this Iron Man back here, the day after I saw, or like right after I saw Solo, I went and tried my chances on it and she's who I got. And then these other three I got at GameStop one time with a second, well two other Kiras I think. 
And then those are two Thrones ones, Sam and Dorman that I got in some Walgreens in the area. And as well as these three Harry ones, Harry Potter. So there's Luna and then Harry and Ron and their sorting hats. But then these two were my favorite ones. They came from a friend of my mom's um, for my birthday. They were out of town and they must have found them. And she did really well because our one's one of the rarest ones. And Galadriel's like one of the second rare and it's my favorite characters. So she picked them out pretty well. I can't complain. But it's a nice little collection of them. And I hope to get, you know, a lot more. In the future, you can just do a lot with them. Just like I like this Chewy that I got today. You know, his his fury. So that's probably gonna conclude it. All my gifts from people and purchases for myself over the last few years, or not years, but days, or. I guess it's almost been a month. It feels like it. Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you to my beloved family for giving me all these things. Uh, and words of Galadriel. Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. So have a safe, happy week, everybody. And enjoy the finer things in life.